So I'm doing a timing belt on a 4.7 liter first generation Toyota Tundra 2003. And here's what I've come across. This belt from AutoZone, you can see that that line is clearly off because here's the dot you're supposed to line it up with. And it's either over on this tooth or on that tooth. So that kind of screws up things. The other thing is, is where do you put this gear? And here's the answer. If you look right here, there's a woodruff key. See that woodruff key? If you go behind the woodruff key in the very back of the block, there is an aluminum little pin right here where my thumb is. Do you see that right there? I'll show it to you again. It's right there where my thumb is. That is where you mark. That mark there lines up with this Woodruff key. And that's how you know that your lower crank is in the right position. From there, the belt should just help you out up at the top. You put the line on that timing mark and the line on that timing mark. That's it. So the mark on the crank pulley, you see it in the back there. There's a little nub and there's a divot on your pulley itself right here. And it's almost in line with the Woodruff key. So if you look back there, there is a little divot on the pulley and then there's a little protrusion on the oil pump cover. Those two need to be lined up. So when you get that lined up, you get your timing cam on your driver's side lined up and on your passenger side lined up. Don't worry about the lines unless you're getting a belt that's perfectly marked. And this is not a Toyota belt. This is a AutoZone belt, a Duralast. So that's all you need. When you get those timing marks straight, you can rotate it twice. All three of those should line up again. Don't worry about the lines on the belt.